theory is a theory in physics that unifies all consistent versions of superstring theory. The existence of such a theory was first conjectured by Edward Witten at a string theory conference at the University of Southern California in the spring of 1995. Witten's announcement initiated a flurry of research activity known as the Second Superstring Revolution. Prior to Witten's announcement, string theorists had identified five versions of superstring theory, although these theories appeared at first to be very different. Work by several physicists showed that the theories were related in intricate and non-trivial ways. In particular, physicists found that apparently distinct theories could be unified by mathematical transformations called S-duality and T-duality. Witten's conjecture was based in part on the existence of these dualities and in part on the relationship of the string theories to a field theory called 11-dimensional supergravity. Although a complete formulation of M-theory is not known, the theory should describe two- and five-dimensional objects called Brownis and should be approximated by 11-dimensional supergravity at low energies. Modern attempts to formulate M-theory are typically based on matrix theory or the ADS CFT correspondence. According to Witten, M should stand for magic, mystery, or membrane, according to taste, and the true meaning of the title should be decided when a more fundamental formulation of the theory is known. Investigations of the mathematical structure of M theory have spawned important theoretical results in physics and mathematics. More speculatively, M-theory may provide a framework for developing a unified theory of all of the fundamental forces of nature. It attempts to connect M-theory to experiment typically focus on compactifying its extra dimensions to construct candidate models of our four-dimensional world. Although so far none have been verified to give rise to physics as observed at, for instance, the Large Hadron Collider. Background Quantum gravity and strings One of the deepest problems in modern physics is the problem of quantum gravity. The current understanding of gravity is based on Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which is formulated within the framework of classical physics. However, non-gravitational forces are described within the framework of quantum mechanics. A radically different formalism for describing physical phenomena based on probability. A quantum theory of gravity is needed in order to reconcile general relativity with the principles of quantum mechanics. But difficulties arise when one attempts to apply the usual prescriptions of quantum theory to the force of gravity. String theory is a theoretical framework that attempts to reconcile gravity and quantum mechanics. In string theory, the point-like particles of particle physics are replaced by one-dimensional objects called strings. String theory describes how strings propagate through space and interact with each other. In a given version of string theory, there is only one kind of string, which may look like a small loop or segment of ordinary string, and it can vibrate in different ways. On distant scales larger than the string scale, a string will look just like an ordinary particle, with its mass, charge, and other properties determined by the vibrational state of the string. In this way, all of the different elementary particles may be viewed as vibrating strings. One of the vibrational states of a string gives rise to the graviton, a quantum mechanical particle that carries gravitational force. There are several versions of string theory. Type 1, Type IIA, Type IIB, and two flavors of heterotic string theory and E8 times E8. The different theories allow different types of strings, and the particles that arise at low energies exhibit different symmetries. For example, the type 1 theory includes both open strings and closed strings, while types IIA and IIB include only closed strings. Each of these five string theories arises as a special limiting case of M-theory. This theory, like its string theory predecessors, is an example of a quantum theory of gravity. It describes a force just like the familiar gravitational force subject to the rules of quantum mechanics. Number of dimensions in everyday life, there are three familiar dimensions of space, height, width and depth. 
Einstein's general theory of relativity treats time as a dimension on par with the three spatial dimensions. In general relativity, space and time are not models as separate entities but are instead unified to a four-dimensional spacetime. In this framework, the phenomenon of gravity is viewed as a consequence of the geometry of spacetime. In spite of the fact that the universe is well described by four-dimensional spacetime, there are several reasons why physicists consider theories in other dimensions. In some cases, by modeling spacetime in a different number of dimensions, a theory becomes more mathematically tractable, and one can perform calculations and gain general insights more easily. There are also situations where theories in two or three spacetime dimensions are useful for describing phenomena in condensed matter physics. Finally, there exist scenarios in which there could actually be more than four dimensions of space-time which have nonetheless managed to escape detection. One notable feature of string theory and M theory is that these theories require extra dimensions of space-time for their mathematical consistency. In string theory, space-time is 10-dimensional, while in M theory it is 11-dimensional. In order to describe real physical phenomena using these theories, one must therefore imagine scenarios in which these extra dimensions would not be observed in experiments. Compactification is one way of modifying the number of dimensions in a physical theory. In compactification, some of the extra dimensions are assumed to close up on themselves to form circles. In the limit where these curled up dimensions became very small, one obtains a theory in which space-time has effectively a lower number of dimensions. A standard analogy for this is to consider a multidimensional object such as a garden hose. If the hose is viewed from a sufficient distance, it appears to have only one dimension, its length. However, as one approaches the hose, one discovers that it contains a second dimension, its circumference. Thus, an ant crawling on the surface of the hose would move in two dimensions. Dualities theories that arise as different limits of M theory turn out to be related in highly non-trivial ways. One of the relationships that can exist between these different physical theories is called S-duality. This is a relationship which says that a collection of strongly interacting particles in one theory can, in some cases, be viewed as a collection of weakly interacting particles in a completely different theory. Roughly speaking, a collection of particles is said to be strongly interacting if they combine and decay often and weakly interacting if they do so infrequently. Type 1 string theory turns out to be equivalent by S-duality to the so-heterotic string theory. Similarly, type IIB string theory is related to itself in a non-trivial way by S-duality. Another relationship between different string theories is T-duality. Here one considers strings propagating around a circular extra dimension. T-duality states that a string propagating around a circle of radius r is equivalent to a string propagating around a circle of radius 1 r in the sense that all observable quantities in one description are identified with quantities in the dual description. For example, a string has momentum as it propagates around a circle, and it can also wind around the circle on or more times. The number of times the string winds around a circle is called the winding number. If a string has momentum p in winding number n in one description, it will have momentum n and winding number p in the dual description. For example, type IIA string theory is equivalent to type IIB string theory via T-duality, and the two versions of heterotic string theory are also related by T-duality. In general, the term duality refers to a situation where two seemingly different physical systems turn out to be equivalent in a non-trivial way. If two theories are related by a duality, it means that one theory can be transformed in some way so that it ends up looking just like the other theory. The two theories are then said to be dual to one another under the transformation. Put differently, the two theories are mathematically different descriptions of the same phenomena. Supersymmetry Another important theoretical idea that plays a role in M-theory is supersymmetry. 
This is a mathematical relation that exists in certain physical theories between a class of particles called bosons and a class of particles called fermions. Roughly speaking, fermions are the constituents of matter, while bosons mediate interactions between particles. In theories with supersymmetry, each boson has a counterpart which is a fermion, and vice versa. When supersymmetry is imposed as a local symmetry, one automatically obtains a quantum mechanical theory that includes gravity. Such a theory is called a supergravity theory. A theory of strings that incorporates the idea of supersymmetry is called a superstring theory. There are several different versions of superstring theory which are all subsumed within the M-theory framework. At low energies, the superstring theories are approximated by supergravity in 10 space-time dimensions. Similarly, M-theory is approximated at low energies by supergravity in 11 dimensions. Branus and string theory and related theories such as supergravity theories. A brana is a physical object that generalizes the notion of a point particle to higher dimensions. For example, a point particle can be viewed as a brana of dimension 0, while a string can be viewed as a brana of dimension 1. It is also possible to consider higher dimensional branas. In dimension p, these are called p branas. Brownness are dynamical objects which can propagate through space-time according to the rules of quantum mechanics. They can have mass and other attributes such as charge. A P. Branner sweeps out a dimensional volume in space-time called its world volume. Physicists often study fields analogous to the electromagnetic field which live on the world volume of a Branner. The word Branner comes from the word membrane, which refers to a two-dimensional Branner. In string theory, the fundamental objects that give rise to elementary particles are the one-dimensional strings. Although the physical phenomena described by M-theory are still poorly understood, physicists know that the theory describes two- and five-dimensional branas. Much of the current research in M-theory attempts to better understand the properties of these branas.